I took, my, my working took one, two, three, four, five, <coughs> six lines. Six lines. So if yours is much longer than that, I wonder if you're taking a rather indirect path toward it. Um, there's lots of different ways to do this, but I'll show you my, if anyone's got an improvement on mine, I'm open to hear it. Have a look at part one. Part one. That was where we sold for T1, and this is the result they asked for. We're doing exactly the same thing, but just for T2, okay? So how did I start this question? Well, I looked and I saw, and I thought, what makes T1 special? What is the characteristic about that time which I can take advantage of? And the answer was, the x and the y coordinates are the same at that time, okay? Well, time two is special in a similar way. It just has different conditions, a different quality that makes it time two. When t equals t2, okay? What's special about it? Well, probably the most obvious thing is that being that it hits the ground again, its vertical displacement is zero, right? Is that okay? Does that make sense? So I'm going to use that, just like I use this, as my starting point. Okay? I have an equation for vertical displacement. It's this guy, right? So I'm going to go from there. Uh, let's see. I'm going to have minus g t2 squared, hmm, lots of subscripts and superscripts, uh, plus u t2 sine theta. There you go. Alpha, sorry. That's zero. There's my vertical displacement. Okay? And it's hit the ground. There it is. Now, what am I going to do here? Uh, a couple of different things. I want to make T2 the subject, don't I? Just like I made T1 the subject. Again, just like before, I see a common factor. Common factor, T2. And I can divide through just like I divided through here because T2 is not zero, right? So I'm going to do that. I'm going to get this plus this. And I'm going to say why. That's a terrible brace, sorry. I'm going to say why I can divide through by t2. I must justify that. That's important. Okay. Now, what was I supposed to do? I was supposed to solve for t2, wasn't I? Okay, so let's rearrange this guy. Um, kick this u sine theta over the other, so u sine alpha, I keep saying theta, over to the other side, divide through by everything, and you end up with this. What have I got? Um, 2u on g sine alpha. Got it right that time. Okay, now. How's that look? It's simple, but it's not what I was expecting, right? So what am I going to do with this? How am I going to get, there's no T1 at all in this equation, and there's no cot either. How can I introduce it? Okay. Well, have a look at T2, my, my equation for T2, and have a look at my T1. They bear a striking similarity, do they not? You've got your 2u on g up the front, which is the same. You've got the sine alpha, which is the same piece, right? So what's the most direct path from here to here? Now, there's a couple of ways to do this, but the simplest way is to take advantage of the fact that you know exactly what it should be equal to. You know exactly what it should be equal to, okay? So even though it seems like a bit of a stab in the dark, I'm going to do this. Multiply by 1 minus cot alpha on 1 minus cot alpha. Now. If you didn't know what the result was ahead of time, this is a very unlikely course of action. Like, why would you do this, okay? But you and I can see where it's going to go. I have to have a one minus cut alpha on the denominator eventually, so I might as well put it there now. And if I have it on the denominator, well, you can't just multiply by things, uh, divide by things. I should have it on the top as well. Ah, but you can see what's gonna happen, can't you? This thing here, when I multiply by the numerator, right? Your 2u on g is out in the front, sine alpha times 1. Sorry, that's a g. Um, sine alpha times cot alpha, that's cos on sine times sine. That's, that's cos, there you go. Just as you expected. Okay, see it? And there's your t1 on the numerator. Cool, that's it. Use given results as much as possible, right? Whenever you're headed somewhere, keep one eye on your working and one eye on your destination, right? Because that'll take you the fastest path.